A surprising twist following the thefts of two LAPD patrol cars last night by teenagers. Two cars, two pursuits, two crashes, and we have just learned the people behind it are connected to the LAPD. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in South LA to explain it. Cara. Yeah, police are going to be holding a news conference this afternoon where they are going to be releasing more information about the juveniles that were taken into custody. But as you mentioned, we have learned from sources that they're expected to say they're somehow related to their cadet program. We'll be waiting to learn more then. Here's what we've learned so far. She had like a big crash and then she had a lot of cops and helicopters. This woman and her granddaughter live near Central and Adams where a police cruiser barreled into a car last night, sending a woman to the hospital. At about the same time, a few miles away, another cruiser jumped the curb and slammed into this building. Just a loud crashing noise. Just You could hear the metal twisting and everything, but it literally shook the block. In both crashes, the drivers were no police officers. He could barely move. When he, I guess the impact shook him and had him kind of, you know, rattled. This neighbor, who didn't want to show his face on camera, tells us he saw two teens get out of the car and run. He posted this on Facebook. Hey, y'all see the police car? Yeah, look at it. Slammed into the wall. Police say they ultimately took three juveniles into custody in connection with the two crashes. They say all this was set into motion when police realized two patrol cars were missing yesterday, one from the Central Traffic Division, the other from the South Bureau. Later that night, a patrol officer spotted the two cruisers together, and two separate chases started that ended with the crashes. They stole a police car and they wrecked. Now, the LAPD does tell us there was one female to male juveniles that were taken into custody. Jeff, Sharon, lots of questions remaining, such as how did they get a hold of these police cruisers if they are found to be responsible for taking them? And also, uh, what type of security was in place at those police stations? Uh, much more expected again when the LAPD holds a news conference at 2 this afternoon. I look forward to it. Thank you, Cara.